Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to use matrices to solve a system of linear equations. For that purpose, we are taking up this problem here, which we have already done in class and the manual solution is on display here. Let us take a moment to revisit the problem and review the solution and then we are going to use Excel to arrive at the same solution as we did in class. The investment advisor in this problem has two types of investments available for clients a conservative investment A that pays 10% per year and an investment B of higher risk that pays 20% per year. Clients may divide their investments now I'm seeing that the word clients is not spelled correct let me make the correction one time. So clients may divide their investments between the two to achieve looks like I was in a hurry when I was typing this up achieve so clients may divide their investments between the two to achieve any total return desired between 10% and 20% however the higher the desired, desired return the higher the risk how should a certain client called Amy invest to earn the indicated return if she wishes to invest $20,000 and desires an annual return of $2,400 that is equivalent to a 12% return on her investment. So for that purpose we had set up this problem manually in class. We had said let X1 be the amount invested in A and X2 be the amount invested in B. So we had this, in, uh, this equation. The total amount invested X1 plus X2 was equal to a sum total which we gave a name K1 and then this equation talked about the return 0.1 on x1 10% on x1 and 0.2 on x2 that is 20% on x2 would give you a certain return here which we called k2 we are setting up a general solution so for example specifically for Amy k1 would be $20,000 and k2 would be $2,400 so we had expressed this system of equations in matrix format. This one here we have written the coefficient matrix. So the coefficient of x1 is 1 here. The coefficient of x2 is 1 here. Here coefficient of x1 from the second equation 0.1 and coefficient of x2 from the second equation 0.2. In this vector we have written the variables x1 and x2 and their product should be equal to the k vector k1 and k2 being the elements. So if we want to solve this system of equation for x then the solution is given by x1 and x2 will be equal to c inverse times the k vector and we had done that in class before and we had arrived at this answer here x1 was equal to $16,000 and x2 was equal to $4,000. Now let us do the same thing in Excel. What we need to do is, what we need to perform is this step here, C inverse times the K vector. So I have already written the C matrix here, the coefficient matrix, 1, 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. And I've also written the K vector for this particular client, Amy. Here in this space, we are going to find C inverse. So first we select the region where we go, where we want our inverse to go it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix so we select a 2 by 2 space and then we type in the formula m inverse and we supply the array which is our coefficient matrix c close brackets and remember to press control shift and enter all at the same time and there we have our c inverse which is this item here 2 minus 10 minus 1 10 and the solution is going to be given by C inverse multiplied by the K vector. So we have the K vector also here filled in for Amy. So we just need to perform now a matrix multiplication C inverse multiplied with the K vector. So let us do that here. It's going to be a 2 by 1 matrix or a column vector with two rows. So let us select the space, a 2 by 1 space and inside we write the mmult function. The first array is going to be C inverse which is this comma and the second array is going to be the K vector which is this close brackets 
and then hit the control shift and enter keys simultaneously and there you have it sixteen thousand dollars should go to the first investment A so let's write that here this write that here this was supposed to be x1 and this was supposed to be x2 x1 is the amount of money to go to A and x2 is the amount of money to go to B so this is the same answer that we uh, arrived at here so let me get rid of this because this is not needed anymore so this was pretty simple wasn't it see you next time